Tabernacle. 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 Tabernacle.
Prosperity always is, is concerning with what? Money and abundance. The word is about prospering you, right? But along with that, he also says, he said, I give you the ability to get wealth. Ability means that God is not just going to drop three or four million dollars in our bank account, mm -hmm. but what is going to happen is he's going to give us the equipping that is necessary for us to attain the thing that we desire. Mm -hmm. And so it becomes especially important that in our time that we don't get caught up in what everybody else is doing. Mm -hmm. We don't get caught up with you know, making connections, because I believe, I absolutely believe in networking. I think networking is awesome, right? Mm -hmm. But I also believe that the God who created me and purposed me to do something great is not really concerned about my networking with the right people, because he said, I will make room for you and bring you before great men. Mm -hmm. So what happens is, is if your gift is purposed, if whatever, if your business is purposed, because I don't care what your business is, let's say for instance, for my sister Jay Nicole, this is a mogul right here, right? Mm -hmm. And for her to have a beauty supply, a boutique, and all these sort of things, this is something she had to pray about these things before she launched out like that, right? Mm -hmm. Because what I can guarantee you, show sure as I'm black and tall, that people told her, all these Asian folks with beauty supplies, and you gonna open one? You know black folk don't like to purchase from other black folk? Yes. Why would you do that? Then when, she, then when she got together, and you're going to put it in that area? Ain't nobody coming way out there that you're not hear those things, right? Or you should just get a job. That's too much. Why are you taking all that on? Get a job so you can get some health insurance, right? Mm -hmm. But nothing worth having, right? Nothing worth having is going to happen without risk. And nothing mm -hmm. that we acquire is going to happen by listening to the opinions of other people. <laughs> but it was not until I came into relationship with God mm -hmm. that he revealed that there was a greater purpose, mm -hmm. something bigger than a classroom, right? And so I can look, because, you know, I remember talking to somebody, and it was like, so, Carol, what are you doing? I said, I teach. Everybody will teach it. Everybody don't teach like me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everybody ain't me. I'm awesome. You're yes. awesome. Why? Because the word of God says that he made you fearfully and wonderfully. Yes. Those are those two, if you if you look at the root of those two words, when he says fearfully and wonderfully, it means fearfully means full of fear. Like he took his time, right? Mm -hmm. That he created you and he put his he, it was intense when he created you. And this wonderfully, it was with all and specific design. And in order for you to uh, live and have being, he had to blow the breath of life in you. And so when he blew the breath of life into you, what happened was is he blew a very specific element of his nature. Nobody in here is the same because everybody in here has a very specific element of God's nature. But if you don't get in connection with the God who created you, you'll never know what the specific element of that nature is and you'll never be able to walk out the purpose and the successful purpose for which he's created you. And so that's when we get caught up in, when we don't have that relationship, we'll get caught up in, well, everybody else is doing this. Mm -hmm. Everybody else has already done that. I've seen five million other people do this before. I just can't possibly do it. I really don't have the confidence in it. Guess what? You won't be successful if that's your mindset, mm -hmm. right? Because a lot of what she was saying in terms of the spiritual law of attraction is very, very simple. Before the secret ever said it, mm -hmm. the Bible mm -hmm. said that as a man think of so is he, and the power of life and death is in the tongue. Mm -hmm. Before the secret is, because there's some things that even if you're a Muslim, if you're a Buddhist, whatever your belief is, Proverbs are meaning universal truths. Yes. So across the board, no matter what you believe it is, it's a universal truth. It's a tested, approved law, right? So what happens is if you continue to think on a small scale, and I'm not saying that you ladies do, but if you think on a small scale, the smallness will be your portion. Mm -hmm. But sometimes in order for you to live in a great way, in a very successful way, it's going to require that you put away some old mindsets. Mm -hmm. It's going to require that you do away with some thinking that you've been taught that, well, that's just how people live. Mm -hmm. That's just, you know, I'll never forget one of my boyfriends who I dated the longest, a big, a big reason why we broke up is because he believed that struggle was a way of life. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. The devil is a liar, right? Mm -hmm. What happens is it says struggle is just one stop in this journey of life. And whenever you struggle, this is struggle is only because you've made a specific goal to get to a place. 
like I struggled when I was working on my doctorate because I couldn't hold a full-time job, right? Mm -hmm. So money was tight, this, that, and other. I struggled when I was getting ready to buy my house because they told me that I couldn't buy things and they were checking my credit and this and that. So those were struggles, right? Mm -hmm. But they didn't, they're not meant to last forever. Mm -hmm. And so whatever it is, you, you've got to make up in your mind that if you're going to be successful, that you can look at other people. You can't judge yourself or compare yourself by other people because comparison is really an enemy. Yes. Why would I compare myself to Jay Nicole? God only made one Jay Nicole. He meant for her to be Jay Nicole and he meant for me to be Carolyn Hall. Mm -hmm. Competition, can't do that either because competition, the, the, the foundation of competi to competition is jealousy and envy. Mm -hmm. And you only get jealous and envious of people when you don't know what you're capable of, yes. right? And so what happens is, is that there becomes, there becomes this, this, this fire that should be on the inside of us that causes us to know that anything that we put our minds to is accomplishable if it is what God has purposed for us to do. Now, there may be a lot of ladies that say, well, I'm not quite sure of what, what my purpose is, right? Well, I don't care what your belief system is, you'll never find out what your purpose is until you get in a quiet, meditative space, right? So you, you've got to get in a quiet, meditative space because in the, way, in the way of quiet meditation, what begins to happen is you get familiar with your thoughts and you silence distraction and chaos around you and you begin to get familiar with your thoughts and begin to understand whatever it is. You know, some people say the universe. I like to call him Jesus, yes. you know. But if it's the universe for you, it's the universe. But the universe speaks when he gets quiet. When you get quiet, he will speak. And then you get more definitive, more clarity about what it is that your purpose to do. You know, like I was, I was speaking to the sister over here about having a boutique, right? And she was saying that she didn't have a space yet. But guess what? Look at all these people who have boutiques online and how successful they are with no boutique space. And God can do the same thing for her, right? And so whatever it is that you've been purposed to do, it will happen and it can happen. But you've got to make sure that your intents are right and your motivations are pure, mm -hmm. right? I'll give you an example. Sure as I'm black and tall, I know that I'm going to be a wealthy woman. Mm -hmm. Right? I have, no, I have no doubt in my mind that I'm going to be wealthy. Why? Because my intent is to be a blessing. He said, I give seed to the sower. Why would God make me rich if I had no desire but to be good to anybody other than myself? It ain't going to happen for me. And if it did happen, then it didn't come from God. Because mm -hmm. everybody that you see that's balling ain't been blessed by God. Because mm -hmm. money and a fool are a dangerous concoction. But if it is it, your desire to be wealthy, you also got to make sure that that desire is in some way a seedling for you to do something for somebody else other than yourself. Mm -hmm. So my desire to be wealthy and which is going to eventually manifest, and I believe it's going to manifest suddenly. Mm -hmm. But it's going to manifest because one of my goals is to be a blessing to other people as God has blessed me. Yes. And not just monetarily, but the things that I know, right? Because I believe that what I make happen for others, mm -hmm. God will make happen for me. Mm -hmm. And does that mean I'm going to share information with every Tom, Dick, and Harry I come in contact with? No, because some folks are users. Mm -hmm. And they strictly want to get information from you so they can come up and shoot you the deuces. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you how many people have been privately applauding me but publicly done nothing. Mm -hmm. Ain't bought a book, a t-shirt, mm -hmm. ain't came to mm -hmm. an event, but you so proud of me in my inbox. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. That was shame. But if I see a sister who is trying, right, and I know that there's something purposed about her, and I see she's equally as supportive, then I'm going to try to make it happen. Whatever it is that I have to share, I'm going to try to share. But yes. I, th I think that what happens is the, 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 uh, the, the totality of what I want from you guys to take away from what I'm saying to you today is that whatever it is that you desire in your heart to do is highly plausible. And it can happen suddenly, but you've got to make sure that you're not comparing yourself to anybody else. You're not trying to compete with anybody else. Mm -hmm. And you're not stressed about who did it before you. Yes.